Facebook Live. <clears throat> we have arrived. We're back at it again. So let's get it in. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early what I see through scripture study and prayer line on his 20th day in uh, November 2018. Let's get it in, y'all. Let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians 1 this morning. Uh... Okay, 18th verse, 1 and 18. Uh, uh, Boko Tov on the call. Uh, Boko Tov, uh, Donna. Uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 18, look what it say. It says, for the preaching of the struos, they call it the cross, y'all. For the preaching of the struos is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of Yahuwah. So for, for, for the preaching, for the preaching of what they call the cross, right, the struos, is foolishness unto, unto them that perish, but, but unto us it is the power of the power of Yah. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and I will bring to nothing the understanding of, of the prudent. Um, man has a, a, a position, an intellectual position. And the Most High is destroying it, right? Because uh, the wisdom that man is functioning um, from now is is dead carnal wisdom. It's not. It's not a wisdom of faith. It is not a, inclusive of the Most High. It's the exclusion of of, of the Most High. It, the wisdom of man is opposing itself against the wisdom of Yah. Here we go again. Uh, you know, Romans 8 speaks of, hey you, but Romans 8 speaks of the carnal mind being enmity against Yah. It's hostile position. And it has a intellectual value that has been rendered obsolete, Right? And I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Then he asked the question, where is the wise? Where is the scribe, the religious person, right? Where they at? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not Yah made foolish the wisdom of the world? Um, like, Yahudim, Jews, um, look for a sign. They like miracles. In the Greeks, you know, that Greek mythology and all that old stuff, you know, they, they like wisdom. They, they like to feel like, you know, they're smart. So he asked, like, where is the scribe? And that's the religious dude. That's that's the theologian. He said, bring him out. Where, where's the wise? Where, where, where is the, where's the scribe? Where's the, the great debater that uses the intellect? Thinking that they 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 know Yah, thinking thinking that they know Him. See, bring them on, right? Twenty one. For after that, in the wisdom of Yah, the world by wisdom knew not Yah. It pleased Yah by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. He took something simple. A Yali conversation, there's many conversations, but a conversation that comes from the mouth of Yah is eternal life. 
if you believe it, put your faith in it, willing to do it, it leads to eternal life. Now the conversation of man and his intellect to man seems wise, seems like the wise thing to do, but it isn't. A man concocts how he will survive and how he'll please himself and how he'll find happiness. It ain't worked. And it's not going to work. Because that is a yawless position. We've been created by the Most High and, 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 and he's included in our daily lives if we're wise. In him we live, move, and have our being. Folks don't understand the fact that people, the, the night of the living dead, walking dead, just ain't laid down yet. Because we're Yahless, but Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He packaged himself being found fashioned as a man. If he was born, he would be born a son or a daughter. He was born a male, a son. Being found fashioned as a man, he humbled himself, became obedient on the death, even the death on that struos. He was even obedient because it takes obedience to the most high, a true relationship with him. Wisdom on the other side of him ain't going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to yield what you think it's going to yield. If it yielded the money, the money ain't going to work. Or he ain't going to let it yield the money. You, you can succeed and still lose. You're not going to find the satisfaction. You may get the relationship. You may get the man. You may get the woman. You may get what you're after. But it's not going to do what you thought it was going to do. You got rich folks committing suicide. Trusting the prince of the air, the system, trusting his children. They're cutthroat. They'll promise you something, but they want your soul because they work for the devil. We, we got we to gotta, we gotta learn how to be humble towards the most high. And, and those, of us think, those of us that think we smart, and I'm not talking about just book smart. I'm not talking about just that. I am talking about the educated. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not talking about just that. I'm talking about those that don't acknowledge him in all their ways, allowing him to direct their path, thinking that they got it figured out. We got to learn how to submit the truth 100%. Right? For after that, in the wisdom of Yah, the world by wisdom knew not Yah, and it pleased Yah by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Yahudim, they call them Jews, right? The Yahudim require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach the Mashiach crucified unto the Jews, the Yahudim, a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks, foolishness. They think what we're talking about is stupid, a waste of time. But unto them which are called, both Yahudim and Greeks, the Mashiach, the power of Yah, and the wisdom of Yah. Because the foolishness of Yah is wiser than man. Anyone running around here with eternal life and the wisdom of the word have way more wisdom than any scholar that ever lived. It ain't even close. The things that we know supersedes the wisdom of man by far. It ain't even close. Can't figure this thing out. That's why I teach against um, the concept of, again, handing down ministry to your son, handing down ministry to, to, to your daughter. You can't do that. Yah is the one to do that. One plant is another water, but it's Yah to get an increase. So, 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 nor is the, the planter or the water, the water or anything, but it's Yah to get an increase. That's in the third chapter of Corinthians, y'all. Along the same argument. But you, you can't appoint nobody for Yah. Yah does the appointing, the anointing. You can appoint, but that don't, that don't even make, you appoint somebody, don't even make them saved. Let's not walk in the wisdom of how to deal with the things of Yah. You can't, you can't send your child off to theological school thinking that that theological school is going to anoint them. No, it's not. 
in in in, in Second Corinthians, the third chapter, it say that the that the that that uh, the letter kill it. It's the it's the spirit that gives life. The letter kill it, but it's the ruah that gives life. The letter is a bunch of words, uh, or the Ten Commandments, Torah. That don't ain't no life in that. It's the shadow of life, which is pointing to the Messiah. Walking in the spirit. One planet, another water, but it's Yah that makes you alive, that gives you eternal life, that gives you the ability to change, that gives you the wisdom to denounce your wisdom and pick up his. Because the foolishness of Yah is wiser than man, and the weakness of Yah is stronger than man. For you see in your calling, right, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called because they have their faith in their money and physical substance. They ball it. It's hard for them to humble themselves and submit to someone invisible. It's hard for them to have faith in someone to bring it to pass when they believe their money going to bring it to pass. They're going to believe they, their natural education is going to bring them to pass, going to give them the edge. And in this physical world, that's true but not in the spiritual realm. We, we, we're a part of a whole nother kingdom where, where, where love reigns, where, where the spirit of the creator is living inside of us, baptized inside of us, leading and guiding us. we we'll supersede the wisdom of man by far. We talk about science. <laughs> Go on with that. Because if, 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 if you uh, uh, apply science appropriately, it ain't going to do nothing but testify Yah. Huh. Because the foolishness of Yah is wiser than man. And the weakness of Yah is stronger than man. For, 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 for you see your calling, brother, how that not many wise men after the flesh and not many uh, uh, mighty and not many noble are called. But Yah has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And Yah have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Y'all heard that? He has chosen the foolish things of the world. He has chose to save everybody through a conversation, through the, what they call the gospel. I'm going to save you through just talking to you. And if you mess around and believe what I'm saying, I'm going to bring it to pass. Just that simple. You don't need no formula. You don't need to, no backflips, nothing. By the foolishness of a conversation, I can make you a new creation just because you believe what I say. Because Adam didn't believe me. I'm looking for somebody to do. And if you believe me, I'm going to bring it to pass. I, I, I'll move a mountain for you. You can say onto that mountain, beat our remove and cast to the depths of the sea if you believe me. And it shall be done. And the wise can't can't conceive that because they're trying to figure it out in man's wisdom. Yah chose a people and proved that all are under sin, but he, he chose the methodology that Abraham used was just to trust him. It wasn't the wisdom of Abraham. It wasn't that, that Abraham was this wise dude. It was that he trusted the most high and he used that formula. And in trusting him, he's exposing man because even the people of the seed of Abraham, the people that he chose to be his children, they, they dropped the ball because they was confident in the bloodline of Abraham. They wasn't confident in the most high. They were confident in the methodology of the blood. And they failed. And they fell miserably all the way to the point that they lost their status. They were supposed to be the head of the earth. He gave them all the oracles and the statues to cause them to be different from other nations. And they craved to be like other nations. They craved to intermingle and to pick up their Elohim, their gods. They didn't want a spiritual king. They wanted a physical king like other nations. So they rejected the most high and wanted a physical king. And that's when you, uh, the most high gave them uh, King Shaul. And he dropped the ball. 
then, 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 then when he, when he, when he began to punish his children because they came up short because the end game is to trust him. The end game is you don't have it figured out. And, 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 and the sooner you realize that the better off you're going to be, he can really save you and, he, and use you in these last and evil days. When you stop trying to articulate trying to work it out yourself, trying to do it your way, trying to concoct some stuff. You want some desired results out of somebody so you get crafty as opposed to casting your cares upon Yah knowing that he care. As opposed to acknowledge him in all your ways and he going to direct your path. We going to figure out how we going to do it. Now you better trust him and quit playing. You don't want to get caught up in, in the resource. You want to get with the source. You got too many people claiming the source, but they're really resource-driven. They're, they're really carnal. They're really, they're really trying to figure this thing out from a, a carnal uh, uh, a retrospect as opposed to uh, acknowledging the most high, saying, uh, Yah, you see what's going on, you fix it. You, you, you see... You, folk, not too many people saying uh, to Yah in every acknowledge Him in all their ways. They acknowledge Him in some of thy ways. Some, some, some things in their life they gon they gonna do it. They gonna figure it out. <laughs> the air out here is bad, y'all. Over here in California, they burning it up from both ends, and and and, and the air is extremely toxic with fibers in it. The, the kind that can get in your lungs and turn into, I forget the name of that cancer, but my, my father passed away from it. I don't even want to try to say it because y'all don't think I'm crazy, but the air is bad. The, his wrath is being displayed, even if it's through the hand of Satan, but his disapproval is here. He's punishing. But those that belong to him, you're protected if you trust him. They, the, yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. Why? Because he's with us. His rod and staff comfort us. He gonna lead us by the still waters in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death. You gotta learn to trust him. That don't mean don't do your part after having done all to stand, stand therefore. That don't mean tempt him like the devil tried to get the Mashiach to do. Tell him jump off the cliff and he going to dispatch, according to Psalms, right? He going to dispatch an angel and, and bear thee up, lest thy dash thy foot against a stone. He said, I'm not tempting uh, the most high. You're not going to get me to play with him. So we do our part. Faith without works is dead. We'll do our part like he told uh, Moses, stand still and see the salvation. After having done all to stand, stand there for it. Shaul. After after having all the all to do to stay, I did everything I know to do to stand. Yeah, I'll get a mask. Is my confidence in the mask? No. Yeah, I'll eat healthy. Is my confidence in eating healthy? No. But I'm not finna go and eat a dozen of jelly donuts expecting to feel better. Tempting him. I'll go herbal on you. I'll go herbal on you. You hear me? Because I want I want the results that supposedly are supposed to come from eating healthy. But is my confidence in the food? No. Y'all chose the antidote for us to be something that the wise people would consider to be foolish. And in him chastising his children and making them the tail. They still his chosen people because he's going to use them in the last, in, in these last and evil days. He's waking them up. He, he has the, 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 the word going forth to wake up the underdog. Cause through, 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 through wisdom, man didn't know y'all. You smart. You got it. You think so? I'm going to use something you despise. And Israel is despised. Israel is last. Israel is the lowest people on the planet. It's marketed and promoted. Don't call it a comeback. Because <laughs> he chose Abraham's seed from the gate. Come on, somebody. Can these dry bones live? Yeah, they're going to live. 
Nene and Pookie and them? Yeah. <laughs> they going to pull their pants up and get it in through the most high. Because he uses, he uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Y'all have chosen the weak things of the world to confound uh, they which are mighty. And the base things of the world, the base things, the low things, the despised things. He going to take the, the, the folks that's been promoted the least. Promoted. Marketed. His divine, his divine will is manifesting through the physical through racism, through them not taking the cameras to the trailer parks. They going to the lower bottom. They going to West Oakland, y'all. They they going where the where where, where the where the Negro is. And, and they and they want to market everything foul and everything uncool. So popular demand is these are some low people to fulfill Deuteronomy 28 and Leviticus 26. So they can be nice and despised and low uneducated, dogged out, spit upon, worse food, more liquor stores in your neighborhood than in the whole doggone. <laughs> you got more liquor stores and, and Catholicized churches on one block <laughs> than you have in the whole state where the Hebrews is. The base things of the world, uh, the things which are despised, Yah has chosen. Y'all heard that? And he calls them to be despised based on their disobedience or their confidence in the bloodline as opposed to their confidence in the most high. Does the bloodline matter? Yeah, he chose that bloodline that the Mashiach would come. And he chose them because of the faith of Abraham. Is he going to keep his promise? Romans 11, has he cast away his people? No. The Ezekiel... 37 is happening right now. Prophesy to them. Wake them up to who they are. It's going to destroy the low self-esteem. It's going to destroy. Folks is talking that and treating us. You come into the restaurant, you're spending your money, get to speaking in other languages because they don't like you. They're talking about you. Like you. Nobody likes Israel. Israel don't even like Israel. <laughs> Israel is trying to, man. <laughs> Trying to run from themselves right now because it's hot. Can these dry bones live? They're in the grave. In a grave state of existence, of self-hate. They're in a grave state of low self-esteem. Let me get some bleaching cream in the perm. Let me, let me, let me, let me marry out of Israel so I can lighten this situation up moving forward. Please. The base things of the world, the things which are despised, Yah have chosen. Yea, the things which are not chose the hidden ones. They didn't hit us. Hijacked us for identity. Stole our land and marked us as dogs. Nothing. A police dog is more valuable than us. If they bite you, you can't hit the dog. You can't kick the dog off you. Because that's police brutality. You got to let the dog bite you. Tear your butt up. You got to let him. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. You know that's low. But they're going to pay for that too. Vince's mind says, y'all, you ain't getting away with it. Ain't nobody protesting about that. Y'all ain't telling your people to stop treating them like that. You can pay for it though. And the air that we breathe in right now is a part of the punishment. And that's just the beginning. This place is earmarked for some problems. And they got the right captain in chief for the problems to come. Y'all know exactly what he's doing. And the base things of the world and the things which are despised, y'all have chosen, yea, the things which are not, to bring to naught the things that are. He about to tear up this stuff to bring to nothing the things which are. Yeah, he about to tear it up. He gonna put it in their heart to tear it up. But it's him that's tearing it up. They tearing it up now. Yeah. That no flesh should glory in his presence. 
when you get the true gospel from uh, see that Catholic that Catholicism that's why I have a problem listening to these watered down preachers now look a lot of these watered down preachers is Israel I just, they can't feed me because the crap that they talking I'm not I don't I don't I'm not hating on them. I love them those are my brothers and sisters but their theological position is minus Israel. They got the state of mind and Israel don't matter. You need to learn how to rightly divide the word of truth because you run in your mouth and misleading people. And I feel sorry for the people that follow these people. You ain't learned yet. When you're a people pleaser, you can, you, you'll, you'll follow some crap. When, when you're carnal, you'll, you'll, you'll follow some crap. We, we need to be more... Uh, 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 subject to truth and and take the criticism that comes along with truth, the inconvenience of truth. Folks will accuse you of being in a cult if you stick with truth and it's scriptural. 100%. Got these preachers running around here talking about it don't matter being a Jew. At the end of the day, the, the true children of Yah is those that have, uh, that that are Christianized. Okay, that's the term, though. Real talk. But it's that Catholicized doctrine that folks preach as if it doesn't matter. It completely matters because the Word says it matters. And it completely matters because he said he, he didn't cast away his natural people. And why would we listen to Shaul's writings and he turned around and told him, I'm Israel. If it didn't matter, why he say that? Romans 3rd, he say, what advantage of it being Yahudim? He said, much in every way. Well, we need to rip that out. And some preachers' theology is ripped out because they don't know the word like they should. But the sad part about it is when people uh, compromise truth for that mess. This is sad, man. But anyway. That no flesh may glory in his present. But of him are ye in uh, Yahushua HaMashiach's. Of whom Yah is made unto us wisdom. The Mashiach is wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. And, and the Mashiach is the word. So Yah made his word that was manifested in the flesh. Flesh gone now. It died on the tree. Came back without, without the body as the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit word, the spirit of the word living inside of us. Who Yah has made unto us wisdom. You want some wisdom? Forget man's wisdom. You can't figure this thing out. Yah would take a bum and, and make him an apostle. And you got all the education in the world. And then he'll have him lead you. To Yah. Because he chooses the base thing. He'll take a Negro. A nigger. Niger. Negro. From Negro land. The slave coast, Negro land. Ship them and whoop them. He'll use the wicked as a belt to whoop them. And the, and the wicked will rise far above them and hijack them and steal everything from them, including their identity. Rob them 100%. Dogging them out and spitting on them and kicking them and using them as sex slaves. And taking over their, the Judah, he'll, they, they, they'll, they'll take their, 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 their musical talents and cause them to enter into a, a, a covenant agreement with Satan behind the scenes. And they'll rape them and have sex with them and pass them around. They'll have them do blood sacrifice. They'll kill their family members. They'll dog them out using their gift. Using their gift to make money. But they slaves. Until Yah say enough is enough. And he about right there. Starting to manifest right now. That uh, y'all had y'all little fun with my children. The gig is up. And that Catholicized fake preacher denounces their own. I'm talking to Hebrews now. The Yahudim. The Catholicized Christian sounding. Now terms y'all I don't want y'all to get lost in terms 
I don't want you to get lost in terms. So I won't use Christian right now. I'll use Catholicized. That Catholicized sellout preacher with the picture of the white Jesus. Would I be wrong if I said he wasn't white? Because he, he wasn't? Does that make me a racist? Of course not. That, t that taught the true Israel that how, what they look like ain't right and the Mashiach look like them. So to say that, the, the Catholicized preacher, oh, it don't matter. Don't even know you're a sellout. But prophesied to them that they may wake up. And those that are in truth, why do you support that? What's wrong with you? Something wrong with you. <laughs> but of him... Are ye in the Mashiach who Yah has made unto us wisdom? We need the wisdom of Yah, y'all, and his righteousness, his sanctification, his, and his redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in Yah. If 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 you if you if you boast and you got something to brag about, I I I I believe you do. I believe you got a lot to brag about. And it's showing us it's him. And we need to know that. You don't want to toot your own horn. Come on, y'all. What was it? They fled to Egypt when he was a baby. <laughs> you write about it. But but now they got the movies to make the Egyptians look white too. Poor they cold. They trying to jack us on every level, but the most high is revealing. And it's time for us to stick with truth. Hope y'all getting this. Hope y'all getting this. Did you get it? Your wisdom don't work here. You got that? And ride the inconvenience of standing with truth and quit being a sellout. If you're part of this ministry, I'm not going to lie. The love of y'all going to come see you. And if he got some love for me to give to you, I'm going to give it to you. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humming to know how, uh, denouncing the wisdom of man, uh, the Catholicized mixture of truth. Uh, we, we, we come against it and we stand with truth and the inconvenience that come along with it. But the praise from you that comes along with it, we choose you over man. Uh, continue to send more truth to us that we may walk therein. And quit being a sellout, uh, uh, a supporter of false doctrine because of our loyalty to man. We denounce it even in your presence. We, 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 we acknowledge you in all our ways that you might direct our, our path, lead us into all truth. And we be careful to give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forevermore. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, as we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. Conference recording stopped. Conference unmuted. That was the lesson for today, Facebook Live. We thank you for hanging out with us. We count it a privilege and an honor uh, uh, to be fellowshipping with you. Uh, we pray that you got some food out of the word. If you did, there's probably some food left, you think? All you got to do is push the share button and somebody else can eat too, um, if you're willing. Um, if this ministry is a blessing to you and you want to sow, uh, I believe it's good ground. And, and if it is, um, all you got to do is go to PayPal, put in DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N 5857 at Yahoo.com. If you want to hang out and talk about the word, we here right now. 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815 extension 815648 thanks for hanging out y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom I'm gone